407 ERA as a team. Nevada in second with a 544 mark. Rebels hope to change that as Kate steals the first pitch to Saldivar. He swings and drives it deep to right. Back at the track is Higgins. And the first pitch of the game, knocked over the fence and right by Eddie Saldivar. His third bomb of the year makes it one to nothing before the second pitch of the game can be thrown. I was just going to talk about the elements tonight. We do have a real stiff wind heading straight out to center. So this should be a well-played ball game. First pitch swung on and blasted by Hoppy. This one gone if it's fair. And it is. The second home run of the inning gives Fresno State an early 2 to nothing lead. Man, we're still introducing players and umpires. And Fresno State teeing off on Austin Cates. Fourth home run he's allowed on the year is his second in a three-batter stretch. Yeah, this is uncharted waters for Mr. Cates. So it's going to be interesting to see how he bounces back. One of the things that we've seen with him is anytime he's gotten into any trouble. Got the victory. One of his two wins on the year. This one's grounded back up the middle, off the glove of the second baseman Saldivar and into shallow center field. Pimentel rounds third and scores with ease. It's an RBI base hit for O'Sullivan. Give him every number. In the form of Bailey Seeger, stares down Dixon. The runner goes. The three two pitch is hammered. Deep to left field. This one's way gone. Bailey Seeger with a bomb. And the Hustlin' Rebels lead it 3-2. to two. Absolute stripe right there by Seeger. He was sitting on that fastball, came in at 90 miles an hour. That ball was, could have cleared the, it was hard to see in this night sky right now, but that cleared the scoreboard. Brendan Sullivan due up, nobody on ahead of him in a 3-2 game. Single to drive in a run in the second. He swings and drives one deep to left field. Pepe's at the track. Left fielder's at the wall. This ball is out of here. Brendan O'Sullivan with his third home run in the scarlet and gray. A line drive screamer that left the yard in a hurry. And it gives the Rebels a 4-2 lead in the bottom of the seventh. We've talked about him throughout the year. We talked about him earlier in this game. Struck a batter out and gave up a hit, but that was it over three frames and a 3-2 win. A swing and a drive deep to right by Morgan, hooking towards the corner, and it clears the fence. That one snuck out of here quickly, and just like that, with one swing, Grady Morgan on his sixth home run of the year has jumped the Bulldogs back out on top. A stunning sequence of events here at the top of the eighth. Yeah, the lefty was line in the visiting bullpen. Charles, as the tying run swings, oh, oh, oh. drives this one to right. Did he do it? Yes, he did. A towering shot for Ryland Charles. Better late than never. And we're all tied at five here in the eighth inning. That ball left the bat at 101 miles an hour. Travels 441 feet at almost 40 degrees. That ball was up in the... Jesus Gonzalez up against Bobby Blanford as the 7-8-9 hitters lead off of Fresno State. First pitch swinging. Blanford drives one to right, and Fresno State retakes the lead at 6-5. First pitch swinging right there. That ball was hammered over the right field wall. That ball got up into the wind zone. Only left, I'd say only, less at 96 miles an hour. That's all. But carried over 406 feet. Well, this is one of those situations right now, though, giving up that home run after an ejection and a count four, three and two. Hoppy with the payoff offering. Gets a swing and a miss for a strike three, and that'll do it. The Rebels falling by a six to five final. Both teams with eight hits, both teams with phenomenal efforts from their starting pitcher. Not much separating these two teams except for a Bobby Blanford go-ahead home run to lead off the ninth against Jesus.